All right, so you've made it to gyro reset lesson six. This is the hexagon. Uh, going left six turns around the hexagon from the beginning to the target, trying to collect all the coins. So uh, in this case, just like before, we're going to repeat six times. We use that gyro reset. Uh, you have to play around with the time it takes to get from one end of the, end of the, uh, the side of the hexagon to another. I can move with 3.2 seconds. Uh, I do my left turn, which is negative steering and then my angle, which would be positive 60. And the reason the angles are 60 is if you take your 360 degrees and divide it by six angles, you'll end up with 60 degrees for each one. So that's the way you're gonna make this turn. Uh, and then at the very end of this loop, you have to go forward just a little bit to get to the end. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of this and show you how to build it. So we start with our repeat. And we do that six times. We're going to go forward. Oh, almost forgot. We're going to do our gyro sensor reset at the beginning of our loop, just so that every time we started, it, it's at zero. We are going to go forward full speed, the duration of 3.2 seconds or 3,200 milliseconds. And then we are going to turn. Means we switch to steering, get rid of the duration. Now this is a left-hand turn, so the power at 10, put the steering at negative 100 instead of positive 100 like we did before. And because we're doing it left, it's the second time we've done that. Uh, because we're doing it left, we use the gyro sensor angle at 60. That should get us all the way around. And then just at the end, we're going to go forward until we hit the target. So let's see how it goes. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, nice, nice, easy turn, nice and slow at 60 degree angle should get you a nice looking hexagon around the outside. You can see uh, I'm making a pretty solid line, pretty much straight on. Maybe getting a little tiny bit closer to the wall, but I have plenty of room. And Uh, so that's the um, gyro reset lesson six, perfect hexagon. Make sure that you use the 60 degree angle, uh, positive 60 degree for the gyro. It's greater than or equal to, and the steering is at negative 100. Then all you have to do is play around with the duration of time where you're going forward past the each wall. My time was about 3.2 3 seconds. You'll find a time that works perfectly for you.